New Orleans is not only home to the 2019 Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA Trade Show, it will also play host to the 26th annual Cattlemen's College on the Tuesday of Convention Week. And joining us now to talk about that is Josh White. He's the Executive Director of Producer Education at NCBA. Josh, tell us to begin with, how do you begin selecting speakers for this great educational opportunity? Well, we've actually changed up our process over the years. We've always had a group, uh, you know, that's sort of informal that we reach out to and ask, will you help us sort through some ideas, concepts, topics, and then speakers. And traditionally, we've done that with, um, you know, regional state executives and uh, extension and, and land-grant university folks, as well as some of our sponsors that help with Cattlemen's College. Um, and so we've broadened that out a little bit further to a larger group. Uh, we've also done a request for proposal this past year for the first time to let more people submit ideas. Um, and so we sort through that, see how many rooms and, and topics we need to cover and how that fits. And then if we need to go out and solicit other speakers, we, we can do that as well. Fantastic. And my question would be, is it only focused on the cow-calf sector or is there something for all segments of the industry involved in Cattlemen's College? Sure, we definitely look at the region of the country we're going in and try to, to uh, develop regionally relevant content. Um, so, you know, for New Orleans, it'll definitely be skewed maybe a little more toward cow-calf and, and grass stalker type operations, but we still, you know, keep stuff in there about uh, room and health and veterinary care and other things that would appeal to a feed yard or, or more of a dry lot backgrounder as well. So tell us a little bit more. Uh, can you give us some highlights of some of the sessions and speakers that we'll be uh, presenting this year? Well, how much time do we have? Because <laughs> this is the An largest show only. <laughs> This is the largest Cattlemen's College that I've been a part of helping wow. develop. We have eight different rooms and of course three sessions per room. Wow. So that's 24 different options uh, that morning. We also did again this year our producer's choice uh, um, program where oh, nice. folks could vote uh, earlier this fall yeah. on through social media on topics that they found the most relevant from our list of uh, possible topics and speakers. Wow. So we'll be repeating three of those sessions on Tuesday afternoon as well as Wednesday. So essentially the most popular topics are repeated three or four times so folks can have plenty of opportunity to see those. And even if people aren't able to make it in time for Cattlemen's College, there are a lot of producer education opportunities throughout the week. Tell us about some of those. Sure. And, well, I guess also Cattlemen's College, you know, if you pay for the attendance or if you don't, there are options to pay for the recordings of the sessions. So if you come in and attend, you get a link to all the recorded sessions after the event. That's great. So you won't miss anything. Right. Um, and then if you don't attend at all and there's just one session that hits your fancy, you weren't able to get to convention, you can go back and watch those you know, about a month after convention, we release those uh, and it's pay to play uh, mm -hmm. to watch those. Uh, but as far as other content throughout the week, I mean, gosh, you know, the general session speakers are always great yeah. and you can learn a lot from those. Um, we also have a lot of opportunities in the trade show. We have a demonstration arena with cattle handling and, uh, you know, horseback and, and various different uh, training opportunities related to BQA and stockmanship there. We also have a BQA producer forum every year that's open to anyone um, where you can hear a nice update on the BQA program and provide input, things you think we need to be um, considering there. Obviously that's geared more toward that checkoff funded program, but it's still something that producers really like to engage in. So those are a couple of good examples. Outstanding examples, yeah. And so what do producers tell you about just the overall value of attending convention, Josh? Well, one of the things I didn't mention when we select uh, are selecting programming and speakers for the next year, we look at feedback from those surveys from the previous year or two mm -hmm. and see, you know, what are, what are producers telling us back after the event that they want to hear more mm -hmm. about. So that definitely goes into our selection process. But, you know, within that survey, we get a lot of great feedback about, um, you know, just a lot of positive comments about the uh, quality of the education, what they've learned, what they're willing to take back, and, and a lot of people grateful for the ability to go back and watch those recorded sessions. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of value there. So we just continue to increase the opportunity for folks to engage and to hear you know, from each of those speakers as much as we possibly can. It is an absolute excellent program, and I commend you and the rest of your team for just continuing to outdo yourself each and every year in terms of quality programming. Well, we try. Thank we'll you, keep Josh. keep at it. Cattlemen's College alone probably makes it worth your time to head to New Orleans. 
The information and education available there is second to none. And you'll go home with new insights that just might change your cattle business for the better in 2019. Reserve your space in Cattlemen's College and register now for the Cattle Industry Convention itself at the website ncba.org.